Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cute bow. I'll get this stuff out of the way. Um, out of velvet ribbon, which can be kind of difficult to work with. Uh, last year we um, decorated our porch and um, I we didn't have enough bows. And so I thought, well, we've got to roll a ribbon. I'm going to make some of my own. And they were the most hideous things that you ever <laughs> wouldn't want to see. Oh my gosh, they were horrible. I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. But then the other day um, I had taken my son to a... Um, Boy Scout meeting and they were decorating wreaths for the wreath sale and asked for help and I volunteered and they showed me how to make a proper bow. Um, so I'm gonna break it down for you too and uh, we'll have we'll all be able to make bows by the end of today. So what I have here is just a DVD case. You can use a book or anything to measure out your ribbon with and so what you want to do is have the tail towards the end just matched up with the end and then you're going to wrap around two whole loops and you're not counting that first tail as one of your loops. So there we got two whole loops and we're gonna cut it so we have a little bit of excess like maybe um, maybe a foot of extra material there all right and there's nothing special about this this is actually pretty cheap uh, um, velvet ribbon and then you're gonna slide this off and lay it down on your table so that you've got the tail um, on it well, it's on my uh, my right and then you're gonna um, kind of roll it a little bit so you have a longer tail and so the tail on the inside is about halfway in the middle and you're going to pull that down so it's just hanging down. Then you're going to flip this whole deal over and you are going to fold it in half like so. All right. Then you're going to accordion fold a little bit. You're going to fold this edge towards you there and you're going to fold this other edge away from you here. I did flip it there. Just, uh, you know, stop it and rewind it if you need to. All right. And so then you're going to hold it so you have the um, no raw edges facing you. Let me just zoom in this. Okay. So we have no raw edges facing us. Now you need a bit of wire, which um, you should really cut before you begin. But I always forget that part. <laughs> you need about a foot. Um, and that just gives you a little extra... Um, wire in case you know you want to tie it to something and then you're going to um, wrap it around the center of your bow here and you're going to twist the bow and one of the reasons I'm making this video I mean obviously I want to help everybody make good bows but I know I'm going to forget how to do this so if I do this now on camera then I'll be able to tell and you know next month when I need to make 50 of these all right then you're going to take this this piece here and you're going to fold it over your wire. You're going to stick two fingers in here and you're going to fold it back down again. Then take whatever tail of your wire that is longer and wrap it around the front and that's going to make a little button on the center of your bow. See that? Nice and neat and tidy. So pull that wire back around to the back and do some more twisting so you secure that. So we're not tying a bow. That's why it's so difficult. I was always trying to tie a bow. You really don't tie these. All right, and now we've got this tail here in the center that we're going to pull down nice and neat. We're going to take this uh, front tie, which is really just the other side of our button, and we're going to pull that down. We're going to lift up that little button in the front that we made. I probably shouldn't have used red. Boy, red is kind of hard to photograph. I hope it's not. I hope it's clear. You can see that really well. Um, we're going to pull our little tails down, make it nice and neat. And now for the... Um, for the loops here on the edge, you've got two loops. You've got a loop on the inside, loop on the outside. So just make sure you do the same thing to each side. So if you're leaving the uh, loop in front down, pull the middle loop up. And you want to do that same thing on the other side. And you're just kind of fluffing it and making it pretty. And those folds that we made before we wired it that first time kind of help it keep its shape. So that's a, kind of an important step there that we did that. And just kind of fluff it, mess with it a little bit. Nobody's going to be looking at it too close up. You know, there's, as one of the lady that taught me how to make this bow at the Boy Scout meeting, she's like, you know what, people are going to be driving by. No one's going to stop and inspect your bow hanging on a wreath <laughs> at the Boy Scout sale. All right, now with our tails, you just want to line, hold them together and fold them in half. And then we're just going to um, cut at an angle. We're going to V-notch. There we go. And there we have a lovely bow. I might make this side a little bit shorter, but 
that would be cute on a wreath or a present or wherever. And uh, make sure you practice this a few times so you don't forget how to do it. If you do forget how to do it, I will keep this video up for your sake and mine so that we all can make pretty bows this holiday season. I want to thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy crafting!